Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum friends and subscribers This is Mehmoo Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on a tutorial series of developing a CRUD application using Yi framework In my last video I completed the functionality of creating a post Okay, So uh, I had added these many posts after going to this form Okay, And uh, now in this video I will be completing, uh, completing the functionality of weaving or displaying a single post in a full detail okay so whenever user click on this view link uh, the uh, another page should get opened where i can see uh, this post in full detail okay so first we need to assign some id id to this link view okay uh, you can see each and every post is having three links view is to view that post update is to update the post and delete is to delete the post okay so uh, these links should get linked with the id of their particular post okay so this is the id and this id should get linked with each of this link so that whenever user click on this link uh, the particular record should get fetched from the database table based on their id okay so now when i place the cursor on the view link uh, on the left bottom um, on the left bottom side let me just show you okay okay so now i have kept the mouse cursor on top of that link view so you are not seeing any link on the left bottom side here okay you are not able to see anything here okay but when we set a link here then you will be able to see that okay so let's see here okay now you can see here this is the application which we had created uh, previously okay so this is the demo application and now when i kept the mouse cursor on top of this view button on the left bottom side of this uh, browser here on this place you will see the id see localhost slash y crud web slash index.php and then r equals to site site is the controller which we are working on and then uh, percent two and then view and id equals to one okay so that id equals to one is the id of that particular record so the id of the first record is one okay so now if i keep the cursor on third record you will see the id gets changed from one to 30 that means the 30 is the id of that particular record stored inside the table okay so now we need to do this thing uh, for our application okay so to, for doing that we need to go to our project and then we need to go to home okay inside home we are having these links right so we need to uh, put an array and give it a name okay and then id equals to sorry id okay we need to give this id we'll just copy this and i will paste it here okay and change it as well set it as id okay and now we need to uh, give a class as well bootstrap class class as label label primary okay so now let's refresh our application okay now you can see the design of our view button gets changed okay because of this class because of this class okay okay now we have set an id okay so the id is the is that particular id uh, which is coming from the database okay and this view is displayed whenever you place the cursor on top of this view button okay so on the left bottom side of this uh, browser window you will notice the link that gets attached to this particular view button is displaying okay so uh, localhost that is 127.0.0.1 slash y uh, e crud and then web slash index.php and then r equals to site which is the name of the controller and then view and then id equals to one okay so that view is coming from here okay so this is the view and the id is coming from here okay so now we need to do the same thing for update and delete i'll just copy just paste it here okay and then 
अपडेट डिलीट एंड दिस वन इज सक्सेस एंड दिस वन इज डेंजर ओके ओके सो लेट्स चेंज इट टू डिफॉल्ट ओके so now we need to build the functionality so that whenever user click on this view button he should be redirected to some function inside the controller and there we will be writing the code for getting the record from the database and displaying it to the view template okay so let's first create a view template so inside this site and click on new file and then save it as view.php okay and then let's make a header view post okay save it okay now we need to call this view.php uh, whenever user click on this view link okay so for that first we need to create a function okay the exactly same looking function we need to create here uh, okay public function action view okay and then we need to pass the id okay okay then let's render our view let's copy this and paste it here just delete it okay and then change it to view okay save it refresh now let's click on this link okay now it's displaying view post that means we are loading view post and now let's try to try to print this id okay now it's displaying the id of that post okay now if i click on any other uh, post view button and you will see the id of that particular post is displaying okay so that means we are successfully able to fetch the id of that uh, post okay and now based on this id we will be fetching the record from the table and we will be displaying to the user okay so for that we need to call our model okay we need to call our model this is our model okay and then we will find we will use the method find one okay and into this we will pass this id okay and then okay and now we will pass this post as an array to our view template okay post save it okay okay so before that um, okay so let's go to our view and try to display it okay, so save it okay now let's uh, go to um, create okay let's just copy entire code and then put it here okay and then remove all this okay view post okay and now okay now let's go to uh, bootswatch.com okay and then select whichever theme you want then just click on this preview link and I have, I have selected this cosmo and i have clicked on this preview so i have got this template and then from here i want i want some dialog boxes okay something like this okay yes i will take this i'll just copy and i will Okay, I will paste it here. Okay, now 
let's delete all this thing now save it okay now let's refresh okay okay so now let's uh, display here okay uh, php so let's echo the title dollar post title okay and then do the same thing for description and category description and category okay and then we need to uh, put a backlink okay so for displaying backlink we need to go to your create inside here we must find this okay so let's take this copy and come here okay do class row save it okay so this is the home uh, the app a uh, home url uh, sends the user back to the home url that is index or home page okay so now let's refresh okay now you can see i'm successfully getting the details of the first record okay so if i click uh, go back then i'll be redirected to the home page and now if i want to see the details of some other record then i will just click on this view button i will get the details of that particular record okay so now what's going on is we let's go to our site controller here you can see i have called the model okay and this posts is our model okay in our previous classes or previous uh, videos we have created this post model and this post model relates to the table inside our uh, inside our Okay, here okay, inside our database bycrowd okay so uh, this is our uh, table post okay and this post is the model which we have created uh, in our last video this post model relates to the table okay let's okay relates to the table where is that okay more model then posts okay and here this mod this post model relates to the table inside our database y crowd okay which is post okay so that's why uh, it able successfully able to get the records from the table okay now what we have done is let's delete this uh, okay so this uh, with this post model i am fetching only one specific record which matches the id which is this okay so uh, as we have already seen this id is the uh, is the one which the user is going to click here on this application okay for example in this case fifth is the id so we are telling we want that one specific record from the table who has the id five okay so then my then uh, uh, my school database will return that i uh, details of that particular id five and store it inside this variable post and then we are passing this post to this to our view template okay so that we can uh, display the details of that single post inside our view.php file okay so that's what we are doing here we have just taken the uh, information and stored inside this post okay this post variable is exactly same what we have created here okay and we have passed this post variable to this view and inside view we are accessing that uh, accessing the property of that uh, variable okay okay so this is how we can uh, fetch the details of any particular record from the table okay so uh, uh, that's all for this video of displaying the details of a single post and uh, uh, i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful information out of this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel click on like button share it with your friends and uh, i will see you guys in my next video where i will discuss how to update a particular record okay and uh, uh, that's all guys i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching